What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super simple tutorial on how to back up your files automatically from one folder, mirror them to another folder on say another drive, and you can automatically do it past midnight or any time that you want for that matter. Super simple and it's really easy to get set up. So first of all, head to the first link in the description down below, which is a link to free file sync. Hit the download button and then select the operating system of your choice. I have Windows. Wait for the download to complete and open it once it's done. Hit run, read through these and agree. Next, choose a place to install. Next again, next. And here's a picture of an animal instead of an ad. Nice and cute. Next, done. Hit finish. Before we get into backing up, I've created two folders here, in and out. In contains all of these files here and out contains nothing currently. So say that in is our main drive and out is a network attached storage or an external hard disk or something we want to back up to. Go ahead and open up a free file sync that we just installed by hitting start and searching for it or clicking the icon on your desktop. If you see a bunch of things here, hit file and new. So let's simply start by selecting a folder that we want to back up. Drag and drop into here and drag and drop out to here. You can of course enter this manually if you want. So the left hand side is the folder that you want to back up and the right hand side is where you want the files to actually go. You can of course hit swap sides, but I'm going to leave it like this. Hit enter or click the compare button in the top left and you'll see it presents this now. If we simply hit synchronize two way or the settings button next to it, we can see what we can choose. We have options for two way, a mirror, update and custom. I'm going to leave it on two way for now to demonstrate that. You can of course also get your PC to shut down by typing shutdown slash s slash t, say 60 seconds here, but we're going to leave that for now. Hit OK, and we're going to hit synchronize two way at the very top and hit start. You'll hear a little noise once it's done, and you'll see that all the files that we had in our backup folder are here, and you'll see this is what happened. We've got all of our files here backed up into this folder. That's how to do it manually. So let's say we want to automate this to run at say, 2 a.m. every night and then shut down our computer right afterwards. We can simply hit file in the top left and save as batch job. Under when finished, you can select what to do or leave it blank. I'm going to hit save as and I'll save it into this new folder on my desktop FFS free file sync and you'll see that it's saved as batch run dot FFS underscore batch. If we were to delete the files from our backup, say we entered a new hard disk, we can double click the dot batch file and you can see that it backs up things immediately. We'll go ahead and empty out the backup folder. And now that we have this, we need to automate this. Simply hit start and enter task and then head across to task scheduler. You'll be presented with a folder similar to this. We're going to hit create a basic task in the top right here. We'll name it file backup and you can also add a description if you want. We're going to hit next and we'll say we'll run it daily next. We'll make it recur every one day, so every single day this will happen, starting today. And then the time you want it to run exactly the same time every day. I'll set it for 53, so it'll run in two minutes time. Hit next, and where it says action, make sure you have start a program selected. Next again, and then we'll enter where this free file sync has installed. For me, it has installed to see program files of free file sync slash bin. So we'll simply copy this at the very top and then here, enter quotation marks, paste it, backslash, followed by the name of the program, which is sync underscore x64.exe. Paste it in here and then close inverted commas. You can of course also get this from the description down below. Under add arguments optional, make sure to head across to where you saved the batch file, copy the URL at the very top. Same thing here, open inverted commas, paste, backslash, followed by the name of this file over here. So we'll copy that, head across to the very end of this, a little bit of text, paste it in, close inverted commas, next, and that's it, hit finish. Now we have it set, it'll run in about a minute's time. Now that we have it set, I realize that I've missed it by about seven seconds. So let's go ahead and change this to be a triggers, double click the time, and we'll set it to 54.00, done. Now you'll see when it hits 12.54.00, it should run. You should see that it opens, runs the backup, and if we head across to the backup folder, there it is. I've been using this quite reliably for about a year, a year and a half now, 
uh, all the way up until my backup hard drive gave out. So anyways, that's a really simple guide on how to automatically backup your files for free. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I'm not going to use it. And that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoots. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.